Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Bahasham Rakakwadash. The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled Life After 1000. Lord will, you are edified. This prophecy will affect the nation of Edom. After 1,000 years, this nation will be gathered or collected and burned. Okay? Hence, extermination. Now, after that incident, those spirits will be summoned into the spiritual realm. And those same spirits will return on earth around the third or fourth generation. However, they will never come back as Edom. They will be intermingled into these other nations outside of the nation of Israel. Okay, the focal point for this lesson is to prove that this nation would never have an uprise in the kingdom of heaven. Furthermore, the same nation will never return with dominion or have another kingdom after this present kingdom. Okay. Proverbs 2 and 21. For the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it. The upright or the perfect is referring to the nation of Israel, okay? Beginning with 144,000, we will be made perfect, okay? Therefore, we will never sin. And if we never sin, we will never die, okay? And also, if we never sin, we will never, ever go back into slavery. We will never, ever lose our kingdom. Verse 22, but the wicked shall be cut off, exterminated from the earth. Who is the wicked? According to Malachi 1 and 4, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. And they did, hence the renaissance, which means what? Rebirth. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down by the hand of Yahweh Shai, right? And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh has indignation forever. Back into Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 22. But the wicked, and according to Malachi 1 and 4, we can... Um, interchange the wicked with what? Edom. But Edom shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. If you are rooted out of something, that means what? Your entire nation is exterminated. You have no future posterity. Okay? If a tree root is cut out of the ground, that tree will never come back in that same location, period, or ever, okay? Now, let's go to Malachi 1 and 4, because according to Proverbs 2 and 22, the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. That is extermination. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. For behold, the day come, what day? The second coming of Yahweh Shai, that shall burn as an oven. And that shows what? That nuclear missiles will be shot. Nuclear missiles will be um, utilized, okay? And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly. Who is that? Who is the proud? Who does wickedly? The Edomites, modern-day white people based on the lineage of their fathers, shall be stubble, and that they 
and the day that comes shall burn them up, said Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So if the Most High is going to pull out their root, pull out their branch, that means what? Them as a nation will never have an uprising. Them as a nation will never return in power. Okay, they're going back down as base men. And after 1,000 years, what will happen? They will be gathered to be burned up. Okay? Period. So all the Edomites that are dwelling in America, when Yahweh returns, they will be destroyed. They will be killed. And they will return around the third and fourth generation. Okay? We're in on the eastern side of the world, all right? Because guess what? According to scripture, right, the elite bankers, the nobility of Edom will be the first fruits of slavery, okay? And everything is reincarnated. And after 1,000 years, that nation will never return in power. Let's go to Psalm 9 and 5. You have rebuked the heathen. You have destroyed the wicked. You have put out their name forever and ever. Okay, period. Period. Let's go to Psalm 75 and verse 10. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Right? So we will have an everlasting kingdom. All right? Yahweh Shai will be exalted. And Guess what? The 144,000 will be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So we're going to be a nation of what? Kings and priests. Okay? And most importantly, we will never sin. And if we never sin, guess what? We will be blessed forever. Because the Most High is going to give us what? A reflection of Him through Yahweh Shai. Okay? All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. So Edom will never return back into power. Let's go to Obadiah. Obadiah 1 and 9. And you're a mighty man, O Teman. Modern day Germans, right? Edomite Germans shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mounts of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Verse 10 For your violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. Again, this nation of people will be exterminated. When life after 1,000 years in the kingdom of heaven. Let's go to 2 Maccabees. Second Maccabees 7 and 14. Now, this is going into the account of how Antiochus killed seven, seven um, brothers because they refused to submit to the orders of Antiochus. They refused to eat pork, all right? And they'd rather die 
or they died because of fear in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, instead of fear in Antiochus. So let's get to the point. So 2 Maccabees chapter 7 and 13. Now, when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. <clears throat> so when he was ready to die, the fourth brother, he said thus, It is good being put to death by men to look for hope from the Most High, to be raised up again by him. As for you, you shall have no resurrection to life. And guess what? This prophecy is going to play out. All right. During the time frame of the kingdom of heaven, life after 1000 years. OK, so what the fuck is Nate talking about? According to scriptures. All right. There will come a time frame where the wicked will be rooted out of the earth. And that time frame will transpire during the kingdom of heaven after 1000 years. And again, these so-called Edom, well, it's like it, these Edomites we will return back on earth, right, around the third or fourth generation as the other nations, not as Israelites, period. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.